Hi. To play a solo can be very frustrating. I know this. I, I know this. Solos consist of a lot of notes and majority of the time you have probably one minute or just a little bit over a minute to impress a crowd or a friend or whosoever. But what if I should tell you that I have a way, I have something that I can give to you folks to allow you to not even think too much about solo, don't even don't think about where you're placing your fingers or anything like that. All you're really thinking of is the vibe. You know, just vibe into it or you're just trying to put the best licks or whatever together, right? With no mistake. Sound unbelievable? I know. Just stick with me for a few minutes. Let me show you. Check this out. See, the pentatonic is one of the most commonly used um, scale, right? And this scale will en enable you to do a lot of really good, really cool stuff, right? But I'm going to break it down. I'm going to use that pentatonic box with a little extension, right? To help you to solo over whatever key, whether it's minor or it's major, right? I'm going to show you where your starting point, well, basically just your starting point, and show you exactly how you are going to use this box to, you know, to hold a little vibe, all right? So check this out. Let's start with B major. Let's use this key first, right? The B major, right? I'm going to show you where and how to find that pentatonic box, right? For the key of B major, right? So if this is B major, right? All you need to do is go three steps down. So this is B, then you start counting one, two, three. And right there, you're gonna drop below, and here's your. That right there is your B major pentatonic, You're right in the box. You know, you can do just about anything in there without even thinking. Without even thinking, and you will never go wrong. But also, there is an extension to it, right? So if, right there in this... When you get there, I just want you to slide down a little bit. Right, then. So this is it. Pay attention. I'm showing you the extension. Then you slide. Right there, you can do so much right there without even have to jump all over the fret, right? Mainly for the beginners. Here's an example. that right there I wasn't even thinking I didn't plan anything right what I did I was just playing a bunch of notes so just imagine what could happen when I decide to sit down and start putting those notes together and placing them however I want them to place you know to make them a bit more appealing to the ears right so you can also do this with the minor key right and I'm going to show you exactly where to find that pentatonic box with an extension for the minor key. So let's move to B minor. Check this out. So right here at your seventh fret, right, that's your B. All right, let me move this. That's your B minor right there, right? And I'm doing this because oftentimes when we play our cards, we use this string or this string for our root notes, all right? So, um, B minor, right there. So, all you need to do, this is even easier, right? It 
is right there. B minor. You just drop below. And here's the extension. I have that little note there. Because you can also use that. Right? Can you imagine what you can do with this? What you could do this? Do with this one. Right? Here's an example. So now that you see that it actually works with the root being on the sixth string, the thicker string, right? Because most of the time, this is where we, you know, find our root note. But let's move to the fifth string because also we find our root note or we use the sixth string for the root note a lot of time, right? Especially when we're forming the chords, right? So let's use D major, right? So... Right there at the fifth fret. Right? Now how do you find the pentatonic box for this one? And there's also an extension. Right? It's quite simple. D, you count two times. Up. And it's right there. Remember it's always three. Three string with the extension. That's the main part. Now you're gonna add the extension. Right? It works. Here's an example. So do we feel like we're getting somewhere now? You see that it actually works? Now, all I was doing there was just playing a bunch of notes. I wasn't putting any sweet licks or any melodies together. Of course, it would sound way better if we sit down and put together some nice licks and some phrases and whatever. Right? Let's move to D minor. There's also a pentatonic box for this D minor, right? With an extension. So, D minor, we're right there at the fifth fret. So, how do you find this pentatonic box? Pentatonic box, you have your D right there, then you're going to count five times. Here's an example. Yeah. So now that you see that we can actually solo without even thinking, the pentatonic box with an extension. Now what I advise you folks to do is to take these and build on them. 
you know create some little leaks now that you know where you're going to start you know exactly where the pentatonic box is just go ahead and have fun and be great my name is Anne. blessed love peace out i will see you next time